Hi Aries, welcome to your July, how they feel, next move, and one message, just love tower reading. So that's basically what we're looking at here, um, Aries. So we're going to get some opening messages here from the Energy Oracle and see what's going on. Mostly looking, obviously, at this person. No matter your situation, no matter what's going on, you know, if I feel a little bit of what that may be, I may say, but it's mostly about how they're feeling about you at this exact moment, or how their next move may be, and what they want to tell you, along with love messages. Oh, well, okay, Aries, I'm like tongue-tied today. <laughs> All right, so we have cards flying on the floor. All right, Aries, welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see if I can get my tongue in order here. Um, if you're new or returning, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Aries. Let's see how they're feeling, what their next moves may be, and what they want to tell you along with love messages as well. All right, July. All right, Aries, let's see. Walking away, 27 is 9, which can be almost, you know, full circle, completion, new beginnings. Anxiety, 18, another 9. Wow, well, attachment, 5, which is about change. And Angel of Balance. So we have 42, uh, 48, which is 12, which is 3, growth and expansion. So it kind of looks like here this person right now is, um, looks like they have a fear of uh, attachment. Like, not, like, the negative side of attachment. I'm feeling like this person is stressed out about being attached to somebody in a relationship. Um, so maybe they put themselves at a distance here. But we do have the Angel of Balance, which is, basically like justice it's like temperance so something may be coming into play here where either their energies are going to balance out so maybe they put them like i said put themselves at a distance we may be kind of talking about like a no contact situation right now or communication kind of situation um if you are new here i do those on the channel as well they're already out for july they'll probably be down the links will be down below uh, or somewhere in this video, so you can check that out if you want to. Um, yeah, we're going to see, like, why they're feeling this way. And it could be really stressing you out as well, like, why this person was afraid to become attached to somebody in a relationship. You know, I don't think they were, af they were uh, fearing, like, you attaching to them in a negative way. They have a fear of attaching, them attaching themselves in a love connection um, for some reason here. But I mean, with this angel of balance, definitely kind of gives me, like I said, justice and temperance, which is all about that soulmate, life contract, universal law and order kind of energy things meant to be. But we'll see. All right, so let's just see more here for you, Aries. All right, Aries, let's see how they're feeling. This is the Gilded Tarot, in case you're wondering what decks I'm using. So we're going to look here, Aries, at how they're feeling, more about how they're feeling here in this situation for you. Okay. The Knight of Wands. Okay. All right, let's see. The King of Cups. No, the King of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Two of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, okay, yeah, and the Seven of Swords, and that could be the running, running out of fear, avoidance of the whole connection with you. Nine of Pentacles, so maybe this person, you know, that is a very single energy. So this person definitely likes their independence, uh, maybe being single. Why they're avoiding the connection, very indecisive energy right here. I mean, we have the Knight of Wands, and then we have the King of Wands reverse, which isn't great energy because the Knight of Wands can be, especially with the King of Wands reverse next to it, in um, inconsistent, in and out kind of energy. King of Wands reverse, not stepping up to the plate um, either. And, you know, the wants is about fire, passion, attraction. So they may have liked the fun times, the fire, the passion, the attraction. Very indecisive due to maybe they just want don't want to give up the single life. Uh, you know, and that may not be, you know, messing around with other people. Maybe they just enjoy being single. So, like I said, the seven of swords are just a lot of running and avoidance of the connection. I don't have any cups here yet, so we're going to see... Uh, you know, are they actually in love with you or, you know, do they just 
you know, like the attraction to you. So let's see, we have Sag Leo showing up here. Right, let's see. Huh, King of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's the conflict. Oh, and the Devil. I don't like that. And the Page of Wands. So, yeah, I don't have any cups here. So, with the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, was this person, like, recently divorced or got out of some sort of commitment? Uh, maybe not that long ago. So, there's a lot of conflict here. And again, the Devil. A lot of fear, stress, worry, anxiety, negative thinking, pessimism. Hot, fiery connection to you. So, that could be very, very, like, lustful, intense, the connection with you. In the page of wands, I feel like it's just like a lot of flirting, uh, fun times, fiery times, which they really enjoy. But they're very conflicted here about anything more than that. Uh, especially if they've ended some sort of commitment or relationship. Or maybe they were married. I mean, the king, queen of pentacles, like my married couple of the deck. But with the ten of swords next to it, that could be the, you know, they went through some, some sort of ending. That could have been very also negative, toxic. A lot of arguing, fighting, conflict as well. Maybe you were a distraction for this person while they were going through that ending or if they had just got out of that ending. Maybe it was a distraction for them. This is just fun, fiery um, kind of energy. All right. Aries. So let's see. Let's pull a little more about how they're feeling about you. Let's pull a little more about how they're feeling about you at this time. What else do we need to know about this? Is there any love here? Or was it just all about the fire fun and passion? Let's see. What else do we need to know for Aries? Chariot reverse. Again, a stock energy. I mean, that could also be about um, something not moving forward. Also, I sometimes feel, you know, if someone put themselves at a distance, that can be them returning. But let's see. Judgment in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. The Empress, okay, the Ten of Wands. You know what, I'm almost feeling like here um, that they see you want this to work with them in some way. They definitely see you as an Empress, but I also feel like they're weighed down by that because they feel like they know what you want and they can't live up to those expectations. So it's definitely was car carried a heavy burden for them. Um, because I'm viewing this empress kind of like as you and how they're viewing you and feeling about you. It's like, yeah, this person is an empress, definitely wants more, wants this to work. Um, but I'm definitely heavy, heavily weighed down by that. And I don't know if I can live up to that. So with the judgment, the chariot reverse, that's definitely like two stuck energies here. Maybe you worked with this person at one time or maybe you still do with the eight of pentacles here. Um... I mean, judgment in reverse can be about not really being able to make a decision or it could be somebody who's made up their mind. Total judgment call has been made um, as well. So we're going to get more clarity here. But with this ten of wands next to it here, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure this person, it's like they know they're not going to be able to live up to what you want from them in this connection. And a lot of weighed down energy here. And that could be why, you know, it kind of, ended or they're at a distance so we have cancer scorpio libra taurus Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck death yeah, yeah it's sort of ending there but we do have the ten of cups here you know total fulfillment happiness in every way six of cups reversed i don't know this could be about this person not returning back Sometimes I take that, too, as someone putting the past finally behind them. But we do have the Six of Pentacles here, which is about balance. And then we got the Ten of Swords. Again, it's about, you know, the ending here. Death could be the transformation, but it's also about endings. But the total fulfillment here. I don't know if this person is going to return or not, unless they can put that put their past behind them and really put themselves you know past that balance themselves out definitely maybe they've been through some sort of tragic ending here but uh yeah i just feel like here they know you were expecting they were feeling it and knowing like how they were feeling about you was like the fire the passion whatever then being weighed down 
about not living up to what you wanted. And I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, but, you know, it is what it is. And knowing what you want, the Ten of Cups here, and the reciprocation of balance. But I don't know. I get, like, two endings here and maybe not returning. And I kind of see this person really worried. Like, is this person going to balance themselves out? You know, is this, you know, something going to happen in the near future? I don't know. But let's see um, if they're going to make any moves. You know, maybe things will change. But right now, I'm not really seeing that. I mean, we do have the Divine Feminine here. You know, and males can be Divine Feminine. So however it resonates for you. Um, I don't know. I'm just feeling like this person is like, I can't live up to the Divine. If this person is a Divine Masculine or Feminine, it's like, they can't live up to that energy. So I'll put it that way. But they know you are in that energy. So, all right. Let's see, you know, are they going to make any next moves? Is this person going to make any next moves towards the Aries, please? I mean, this Eight of Pentacles could be them working on themselves as well, but we'll see. Ace of Swords reversed. And that's not good. The moon reverse. I mean, that's about not getting over fear and seeing the path clearly. I mean, it's about getting over fear and seeing the path clearly. Eight of Wands reversed. I'm getting all these communication cards in reversed. Hierophant reversed. Oh my God, that's not good either. That's about not leveling up as well. Four of Pentacles, a lot of holding back here. I don't see it, Aries. I don't. Unfortunately, Ace of Swords, that would be about the big communication coming in, the new beginning. Um, as well. But, I mean, the moon is about... I, I feel like this person sees clearly that they don't want... And, and this is what it is. You know, I'm not going to make up a positive reading because that's what people want to hear. So, either it's going to resonate or it's not. But I, I still f see holding back here and not stepping up to the plate or not leveling up with the Hierophant. That is also about not committing. No action, no communication. Same thing with Ace of Swords Reverse. But the Moon in Reverse... I mean, that is about not fearing and seeing the path clearly. So what I feel like is this person sees the path clearly that they know exactly what they don't want for their future. And that's about not being in another committed relationship. Unfortunately, that's what I see here. Oh boy, Aries. So let's see. We have Pisces, Taurus. Let's see what's on the bottom. Queen of Cups. Okay, why is that here? The Sun. The Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Oh, my God. Oh, I mean, these are positive cards here. So, I mean, the Queen of Cups is about love, the sun, pure enlightenment, healing, growth, expansion, everything positive. The Queen of Pentacles, commitment, that kind of energy. Knight of Cups, moving forward in love. And a wish dream coming true with the happy to destroy with the Nine of Cups. I'm feeling like this person knows, I, I keep feeling this, Aries, that this person knows um, that you want stability, love, total fulfillment with this person, wish dream coming true, but the Nine of Cups for me is almost like a single energy as well. Um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see uh, what the next line is going to show about their next move, because maybe that'll change, but right now I just see not leveling up, not taking action, holding back, Four of Pentacles, self-protection. All right, so let's see. Is this person going to make... Right there, that's a no about any moves towards you. But let's see if things will change. I'm do one more row about next move and see if it's going to change here. But let's see. And, you know, the moon in reverse is basically like the sun upright. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, that's about lack, loss, abandonment, loneliness, star reverse. I don't wish not coming true either. Hang man, yeah, another stuck energy. Oh my gosh, Aries. I'm sorry it's not more positive, but it is what it is. Hermit, retraction of energy, single, keeping to themselves. Page of Wands. There's more. They may reach out again, but it's just going to be more of the fire, the fun, and the flirting and the passion. So if they do reach out, uh, Paige wants more flirting, more flirting, more fire, more passion, more wanting to connecting, maybe a booty call. 
I don't see this person wanting to move it forward in any kind of relationship. I don't even have a lot of cups here. I don't. Um, we've seen some on the bottom of the deck. But if you look at this spread, there's no cups. There's no cups. Not one. Oh my God, I'm just realizing that. Wow, okay. Hermit, yeah, this person, hangman, stuck, stuck, star reverse, no wish fulfillment, no balance, nothing. I just feel like this is you probably are hoping for them to regain that balance so that uh, maybe something can happen here, but I don't, I don't see it happening. I don't. They just want a booty call. Booty, booty call. That's all I see, unfortunately. All right, so we have Sag, Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius. They want your booty. That's all I see. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. I mean, that's a good card, too, and the Ten of Pentacles. But we have the Three of Pentacles Reverse, the Page of Cups, and the Lovers. The Three of Pentacles is in reverse here. So I'm feeling like Page of Cups could be an apology. Sometimes that's like, I mean, we're getting all the positive cards on the bottom of the deck and not in the main spread. These are just clarifiers. This is just how I do it. So, I mean, the Lovers is, you know, that connection. Page of Cups could be the apology, but the Three of Pentacles in reverse is no growth or expansion here. So, I'm definitely feeling like this person knows that you want this to move forward in a long-term energy or a commitment or something, but for them, there's like no growth and expansion with that, so they may come forward with an apology with that, saying, yeah, I know you want this to move forward in a long-term energy or commitment or something, but I just don't see that happening. They may apologize for that, but again, there is an, a connection here, but I feel, and it's right on the page of wands. So they may say, you know, I feel the strong connection to you, the fire, the passion, all that energy. But, I mean, if you look at how they're, you know, with this moving forward, there's lack. A wish not fulfilled with the Ten of Pentacles. Stuck energy and no growth expansion. They keep retracting their energy when it comes to love. And they may reach out for a booty call and, you know, let's say I feel the connection that way, but that's about it. So this is definitely them retracting their energy when it comes to love, but they may apologize for that. Say, hey, you know, I apologize, you know, but I don't know if they even truly actually love you, but they like the booty call. They love your booty. <laughs> they keep getting that. But as far as loving you, I'm not sure about that. Let's see. we got Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, Sag. I think I said that wrong. But let's see what they want to tell you. Let's see what they want to tell you, Aries. I'm not doing it over to get something different. So, you know, it's not too often I get, like, this kind of reading on the channel. Uh, but it does happen every now and then. So, but if it does resonate, um, Aries, please do like, comment, you know. All right, all the good things be greatly appreciated. So let's see what they want to tell you. Eight of Cups, right there, walking away. Yeah, I put myself at a distance. I walked away. Lovers. I heard making, well, I don't want to say making love, but yeah. So they love making love to you, basically. But I don't want to say it the other way, but Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I know you want this to move forward. Five of Swords, but I don't want to just keep deceiving you either with the Five of Swords reversed. Tower. And I know you want the big change to happen between us, but I can't deceive you anymore on how you want this to move forward. I like the connection that we have as it is, but I'm keeping myself at a distance as well. I mean, the tower is about a big change. Eight of swords. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling like that's a stuck, more of a stuck energy here. So I'm kind of feeling like your Aries. What they want to tell you is, I like, yeah, the big change. Like, I'm stuck. You want this. That's you, Aries, right here, actually, with the tower. And I know you want this big change, but I can't keep deceiving you on how this is moving forward. I like the intense connection we have as it is. And I keep myself distant at a distance when it comes to love. I'm not even sure if this person 
like loves you. I, I, I'm not seeing it, to be honest. And I hate to say that, but we do have Gem Gemini, Sag, Leo, Cross, Taurus, Scorpio, and this is you, Aries. This could be happening right now for some of you. Let's see. Bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. They may not return. You know, they may say, I may not return. Three of Pentacles, because I can't give you the growth that you want. Three of Pentacles reversed. Strength, I hope you can overcome. You know, I like the strong connection, but I hold back. I have the willpower. Um, hoping that you will overcome this. Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And I know you've told me, maybe you've told them that you love them. Um, but they're up in the air here with the Two of Pentacles. I'm up in the air, you know. I may come charging in here for passion, but when it comes to love, I'm just not sure. The Four of Cups here. They, on the fence here about giving you what you want when it comes to bringing more love into the situation or just love in general as well. But I mean, the Six of Cups reverse. I mean, may, they may not come back. They may not come back. And if they do, it's only going to be for booty call. I just keep getting that but let's see if they got any kind of love messages i mean i like i said i mean look look only cups we have on the table here is the eight of cups and that's the walking away energy wow okay i'm sorry aries you know it is what it is I and mean, we got the six of cups up there but it's in reverse it's in reverse so do they have any kind of love messages for you or just messages in general? Let's see, um, Aries. Also, my website's down below, Aries. So if you do want to check that out, feel free. Everything you need to know is on there as well as in the description box. All right, Aries. So let's see, Aries. I want to say to you, what else when it comes to love? I was reminded of your scent recently. Right, I'm going to shuffle these because um, I feel like I just keep taking from the top of the deck. It's not accurate here. Okay. I look at your picture often. Okay. I just got sidetracked. I maybe get sidetracked on purpose. I don't know here. I'm still trying to find myself. They don't know what they want, to be honest. I mean, they might, may be keeping themselves occupied on purpose. You've affected my life significantly. So you have affected their life. I mean, I think you're a positive energy in their life. But as far as wanting more, if this resonates, I don't really see that happen. They do look at your picture, but it may be because, you know, they want your booty. I don't know. And they do like your scent. Yeah, I can't give up on my responsibilities right now. So whatever, uh, yeah, it was me, not you. Um, so... Whatever they're doing right now, I don't think they're going to give that up either. So, I'm sorry, Aries. I don't see any kind of change with this person other than flirting and, you know, coming in for the booty call. That's about it. Oh, Aries. Okay, Aries. Anyway, that's what I have for you, Aries. So, I do hope that helped. That resonated. Um, everything you need to know is down below. Wishing you the best, Aries. And I shall see you next time.